So, we have been discussing regarding the distribution of animals and we have studied about the means of distribution and we have also studied about the factors affecting distribution. And today, we are going to study about insular fauna. Insular means islands. So, insular fauna means fauna of the islands or animals living in an island. So, that is the meaning of the word insular. So, whenever you hear, you hear the term insular, just remember that that is uh, it is referring to the island fauna. Okay. Now, basically, what is an island? We have to understand what is an island. Island is a small bits of land masses, and uh, uh, one peculiarity of any island is that it will be surrounded on all the sides by water. Only if a land area is surrounded on all the sides by water. We can call it as an island. So, in the use of an island, they also have some animals. Now, animal diversity of an island will be completely different from the animal diversity of a continent. In a continent, we can find different types of island, uh, animals. But in the use of an island, you take the use of luxury. If you have any friends in, from luxury, you ask how many types of mammals are there, how many types of amphibians or reptiles are there. They will be having very limited number and also limited diversity of these animals. So, diversity of animals present in an island will be very limited or very restricted. Only few animals will be present in an island. Because if you go to Lakshadi, only one species of frog we can see. Only one species of rat we can see. So, that is the peculiarity of an island. Now, islands are basically a small land area surrounded on all sides by water. Now, we are finding two, uh, two types of island. One is a continental island, other is an oceanic island. Here, you can find an oceanic island. A, small, a picture is showing a small oceanic island. Now, in the case of a continental island, the best example is the case of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a continental island. Because it is situated very near to a continent, so the basic uh, basic uh, basic explanation of a continental island is that it should be near to a continent. An island situated very near to a continent is known by the name a continental island. That is a simple definition. Now, going to a more technical definition, continental islands are those islands which at one time have been a part of large land mass. Or a continent. That means, according to this classification, this definition, these islands are once a part of a major continent. As in the use of Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka used to be connected with India for a long time. So there is a there is a bridge here called Palm Park Strait. Now it is uh, it is uh, discontinuous, formed of mostly separated rocks. Now that land mass was once connected, and animals from India used to move to the Sri Lanka like that. Even elephant from India reached in Sri Lanka mainly through by crossing through this land bridge. So that is a land bridge. So continental islands are those islands which used to be connected with the, a major continent uh, 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 once and which have lost their connection with the mainland. There are two features. One, they have to be connected with the mainland once. And after a period of time, Right now, they are not connected with the continent. So, they used to be connected with the continent during that history. And uh, now, they are not connected. That is, the, uh, that is the peculiarity of the continental island. Then, another point that, that, is, um, that, is, that should be kept in your mind is the sea separating. This is a sea between in the main Indian mainland and the Sri Lanka. Sea separating the nearby continent may be narrow. There are two points. One, it is narrow. Then, uh, the other point, it is shallow. The depth is also very limited. So, there are two points. One, it is uh, the sea separating them will be narrow. And the second point is that it will be shallow. The depth will not be, uh, it has a very limited depth. So, these are the some of the major features of a continental island. Now, we go to another peculiarity. Now, if you take a continent, this is how the edge of a sea. 
See, this is the land area and this is the point where the, uh, the, the sea is, start, is starting. Now from the point of the sea, from the point of the coast for a period of, uh, for a distance of 250 kilometers, the ocean is slowly, very slowly or very gradually sloping. Now up to 250 kilometers, that is a rough estimate, up to 250 kilometers, we can find a, a shelf like this. And after the 250 kilometer, then we can see that the sea is suddenly going more deeper. So this point from the sea, coast of the sea up to 250 kilometer will be having a shallow sea. Or the depth will be very limited. And that area is known by the name continental shelf. And most of the continental islands will be situated in the continental shelf. So but that is the importance of continent as well as continental shelf. So I, when we say about continental islands, their position is on the continental shelf. Then you should understand what is a continental shelf. Continental shelf is a uh, shallow area where, uh, which is around uh, near to 250 kilometers away from, uh, away from the coast or away from the shore. Then after the continental shelf, this is how the this, uh, the, the depth is increasing, there is a sudden increase in uh, depth and that region is known by the name continental slope and we go to the deep sea where the, it is known by the name abyssal plain. Then continental islands are bodies of land that lie on the continental shelf of a, of a continent. That was the point that we were discussing. They are existing on the continental uh, shelf lies close to the continent and resemble each other geologically. There are two what, there are two points that they are lying very close to each other. Second point is that they are resembling. For example, you take India as well as Sri Lanka. The soil as well as rocks present in Sri Lanka will be very similar to the soil and the rocks present in, in Tamil Nadu coast because they used to be connected for a long time. So, that, so geologically, that means in terms of soil or in terms of the nature of the rocks, they are very similar. So that, that is another peculiarity. So uh, geologically, we can find more similarity between a continental island and a nearby continent. Another peculiarity is that the, regarding the fauna, fauna means animals. Animals exhibit higher similarity with the fauna of the mainland. For example, you take Sri Lanka and India. If you go to Sri Lanka, the animal, most of the animals are elephant is present there. Then we can find uh, leopard there. We can find bats. Most of the different types of uh, spiders and insects present in Kerala, Tamil Nadu region are also present in Sri Lanka. So if you look at the animal diversity of Sri Lanka, they all came from India. And because of that, in, an, in a continental island, the, we can find almost the same type of animals that we are finding for it. So there is a high level of similarity between the animal diversity of a continent, animal diversity of a continental island, as well as the animal diversity of the nearby continent. The lack of competition sometimes result in occurrence of species which have become extinct in the mainland. So the one that is another peculiarity, for example, if you take the case of Sri Lanka, in, in Sri Lanka we can find elephant. Now the elephant present in Kerala or in India will be are having tusk for the male. But if you go to the Sri Lankan elephant, they do not have any tusk. So in the case of Sri Lanka, we are finding tuskless elephant the, the, because there was not much competition. It may be the lack of competition or other reason that, that led to the formation of a new kind of element where tusk is not present even in May. So that kind of uh, that kind of evolution or modification can take place. Now you, you take the case of Australia. Many of the flightless animals living in Australia were able to exist in Australia safely because of the lack of competition, lack of predators or lack of competition. So this is how the, uh, now we go to Galapagos Island. 
there also we can find very large giant tortoises are there. So all this exhibit uh, are giving an uh, example that are uh, showing that uh, sometimes lack of predator or lack of a competition or competitor can lead to the development of new type of species. That is the point that they have mentioned here. Then what are the major continental islands of the world? So you have been drawing world map in the last two practical classes. Right now you will be having a some idea of what are the major continental islands of the world. Here you can see that Borneo. Where is Borneo? Borneo is a part of Malaysia. Then Java. Java is a part of Indonesia. Sumatra also. Sumatra Sakhalin Island. Then Taiwan. Then Sakhalin Island is near Russia, Japan. Then Taiwan. Hainan is an island of China. So these are all examples of continental island. Then there are some major islands like New Guinea, Tasmania and Kangaroo Islands. Both are part of Australia. Then Great Britain is a continental island. Ireland is a continental island. Sicily is a continental island. Then still we have a continental island in North America like Greenland near to North America. Greenland is a uh, island uh, occupied by Denmark, it is under the control of Denmark. Then we have Newfoundland. Newfoundland is another example. Uh, that is uh, uh, of the coast of Canada. Then Long Island and Sable Island. These are all examples of continental island situated in the North America. So these are all, this is uh, Japan. Here you can find major, many major islands are there. So these are some of the features of a continental island. So going to the continental island, you should know what is a continental island, why it is known as a continental island. Now the next island is the oceanic island. Oceanic island means they are, situ are islands uh, which are ones that do not sit on the continental shelf and are located far away from the continent. Here you can see that this is the continental shelf. So in the use of a continental island, they are situated or present on the continental shelf. Whereas in the use of an oceanic island, they will be situated very far away from the uh, seashore or the coast. So that is a peculiarity of the continental island and oceanic island. In the use of oceanic island, they are very situated very far away from the seashore and are not uh, present on the continental shelf. That is another bit. And are located away from the continent. Then see between ocean island, oceanic island and the nearby continent will be very deep. I told you about the case of Sri Lanka and India. Similarly, if you take Madagascar and Africa, these are all continental islands. So they are very close to a continent. But, uh, this, uh, uh, but in the use of an oceanic island, for example, Lakshadweep, it is situated away from the India. Maldives, it is situated very far away from India. Mauritius, these are all oceanic islands. Because they are located very far away from the nearby continent. And the sea between the, near, between the oceanic island and nearby continent will be very deep. Whereas in the use of ocean, continental island, it won't be that much deep. The uh, vast majority of volcanic island are, um, uh, ma vast majority of oceanic island are volcanic in nature. That means when a volcanic eruption like this is taking place, lot of uh, soil, uh, lot of uh, rock particles will be settled in the ocean and gradually that will lead to a uh, formation of a small island. This is how many of the oceanic islands have formed in different parts of the Indian Ocean or Atlantic Ocean. So majority of the oceanic island, for example, St. Helena. St. Helena is a very famous oceanic island situated off the coast of North uh, Africa. It was famous for uh, uh, because Napoleon was expelled to this St. Helena by the British people. So that's why St. Helena was famous. It's a tourist spot also. So this is how the oceanic island will be form, uh, formed. Here also we can find different types of oceanic islands. These are all coral islands. 
and there uh, this is an aerial view then this is Asores island this is an oceanic island very very far away from the nearby continent so Asores island is another example of an oceanic island and here you can see that there is a lagoon inside that inside that lagoon most of the time we can find fresh water also so one problem animals are facing in an oceanic island is that lack of fresh water but in some times there will be in uh, lakes like that and inside the lakes most of the time it will be fresh water because uh, that water and the uh, sea water will be somehow supplied so it uh, this will be so in the absence of fresh water in an oceanic island animals won't be able to survive now, uh, now going to the uh, climate and vegetation as well as fauna, we can find a lot of difference between oceanic island and the nearby nearest continent. They are, they are all completely different. You take the fauna of Mauritius, or fauna of Fiji Island, fauna of Galapagos Island, Saint Helena. Any oceanic island you take, there won't be much similarity with the with the animal diversity of the nearby continent. Then carnivores are mostly absent. Carnivores means bigger animals like a lion, tiger, leopard, uh, cheetah, etc. These are all bigger animals, meat-eating animals. They are mostly absent because they, they won't be able to, they are unable to reach a oceanic island like, uh, like Asaurus or a Lakshadweep. If you take Lakshadweep, we cannot find any big, bigger animals. Then development of huge size is noticed in giant lizards and tortoises of oceanic island. You have heard about the Galapagos tortoises. Maybe I, here, these are examples. For example, if you go to Galapagos, we can find a very big size, bigger size the tortoises, as well as tortoises. And this is also a iguana. Iguana, it's a small garden lizard-like or reptile, but they are very large, up to the size of a crocodile. So, and they were able to reach a la that large size mainly because of the lack of predator. So, in the absence of bigger predators or other carnivorous animals, these small animals, which were uh, which you uh, which were uh, used to be very small in almost all parts of the world, they developed into giant size. So, uh, for development of giant size is an is a peculiarity exhibited by animals of the oceanic island. Then, so the development of huge size is not based in giant lizards and tortoises of the oceanic island. The fauna is mostly a chance assemblage of animals from different areas. Chance assemblage means, for example, you take the uh, Lakshadweep or Maldives. Whatever animals uh, uh, present there might have come from different parts of the world. Some may be from the nearest continent, like India. Other animals may have reached there from far away places, sometimes because of hurricanes, sometimes because of the um, uh, floating raft. So, uh, from different parts of the world, some animals might have reached there by chance. And they, those animals were, were able to establish and survive there. So, mostly what we are seeing in an oceanic island is a chance assemblage. Or a, or a collection of animals which are reached there mainly by chance. So it's a chance assemblage of animals from different area. Then faunal, faunal diversity or fauna is poor in basic group. Basic group means uh, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, birds. These are the five basic groups. If you look at the uh, animal diversity, for example, I have been in Maldives. I cannot, I can find only one or two species. There is a rat there, there is a bat there, that is the only mammal. Then the, the, regarding the amphibians, there is only one species of frog. So there are there are very few number, few species of reptiles. So that is the case in Lakshadweep also. If you go to uh, Andaman Nicobar Islands, there, or the, there we cannot find bigger mammals in Andaman Nicobar Islands. So this all shows that the fauna is very limited in the use of, uh, in the use of uh, oceanic island. There are a number of examples, Asaurus here, this is the Asaurus island. Then another is the Bermuda island, Bermuda triangle, you may have, it's near to South America and North America. Um, that is a Bermuda tri uh, region. Then Galapagos is also another example. 
then Saint Helena. These are some good examples of oceanic islands. Then we have, we can see about the Galapagos Islands uh, that we will be studying in the next class. So today we will be stopping with the oceanic island and continental island. And most of the time we can expect a question distinguished between a continental island and an oceanic island.